What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Xavier Ashton, aka Astro. Yo, back here again with another video. In today's video, we were talking about these shorts right here. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best shorts in the world, AKA the Eric Emanuel mesh shorts. So let's get into this video. So this is for the people that wanna know the designer before buying their things. Um, a little background knowledge about Eric Emanuel is he's an American designer. How I know Eric Emanuel is I remember him with like a uh, snakeskin jerseys and all that. A lot of artists and uh, just famous people in general were wearing like his stuff, Mitchell and Ness uh, with some snakeskin. Usually that's like Eric Emanuel. There was people bootlegging his style and everything, but that's like my background knowledge on Eric Emanuel. So if you remember years ago with like Just Don and just everybody just like customizing jerseys because that's who he was he started as a customizer um those snakeskin jerseys is actually eric emmanuel so there you have it so if you guys remember those trends and pieces um that's basically who eric emmanuel is i wasn't going to go through a whole like in-depth review of his whole life i just wanted to basically tie in some pieces that i assume you guys would know into what he's making now which are these bad boys right here with the quote best shorts in the world as you can see, Eric Emanuel, his logo right here. And uh, as you can see, there's only one pair of shorts in here. And these shorts retail for about $98 after shipping and handling and everything. Um, I don't pay taxes because I live in PA. I don't know if it'd be different in other states, but um, 108. Damn! for one pair of these boys. So I know some of you guys watching right now are saying, Xavier, have you lost your goddamn mind paying $108 on some mess basketball shorts just with an EE logo on them? And um, probably I have lost my mind. $108 for some shorts is steep. And I'd be paying like prices for essential sweatshorts and I've never paid $108 for some shorts, um, especially mess shorts, you know? But that's the purpose of this video. We're gonna be doing reviewing and sizing and see if the Eric Emanuel best short in the world lives up to the hype. So let's get into this review. So I just wanna show you guys the packaging one more time. And personally, I like the packaging of the short. Um, it gives that athletic old school look, just like the fonts and how he has everything. And um, to me, it just looks nice. Um, it's very eye appealing. I like the one pair. Like I said, it just gives off that old school athletics, which is basically what this is. And um, one of the reasons why this is $108 is because this isn't made in China. It is made in the US. And as you know, if you have your goods manufactured in the US, they are going to cost more. So that is one thing. Um, I don't believe that's the reason why it should be $108. But um, to me, I feel like these should be like 60 70 dollars at most i just can't believe these are like 98 bucks but once again like it says right in the bottom i don't uh, you probably won't be able to see that uh right there made in new york so like i said they are made in the u.s and here you have it the best shorts in the world and i have it in that mauve colorway with the yellow and green uh for some reason i don't know why but this is giving me like seattle supersonics vibes um I believe, yeah, they were yellow and green Seattle Supersonics. But once again, like I said, that mauve colorway, and like I said before, these are short shorts, um, which is okay because this is the look that we're all going for now. Short shorts are back in, you know, not short shorts, but above the knee shorts, just like the Nike woven shorts and the Fair God sweat shorts and all that. Everything above the knee is back in style. So um, how long do you feel like this back in knee style is uh, gonna be here. Like you feel like it's here to stay or you just feel like it's a trend? Let me know down below. So once again, I got the mauve colorway. It's brown. Mauve is just a shade of brown, just a fancy brown. But um, let me show you guys the tag on the inside. So Eric Emanuel, New York uh, and small. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me show you guys a new thing he implemented to let you guys know if you're buying fake Eric Emanuel shorts or not. So this goes with the newer shorts. Uh, the older shorts won't have it, so I wouldn't know how to tell if those are fake, but the newer shorts and the newer drop all come with a hologram um, on the inside tags. So it actually says EE and then it has a globe in the background. Um, I don't know if my camera is gonna, well, the light is gonna show it, but like you'll see, I don't know if you're gonna see it. Let me see if I bring it back. Mm, it's not showing, but um, yes. So if your shorts come with a hologram, they are real. If they're shining and it says EE with the globe, they are real. If they're not, then of course it's not real. 
on the back of that tag uh it says official merchandise and then um on this tag it says eric emmanuel made in new york cold water wash hang dry or dry it i don't care okay um 100 polyester and then uh on the back it says each product is made and cared by the ee team and it gives like his information on uh like where to email him and everything so that let me see if that picks up if it says oh come on pick up and then uh on the back it just shows like his contact information so 100 polyester are they worth 98 dollars and with shipping and handling 108 dollars um i don't know yet so let's uh try these on and let me see if i got my money's worth looking at that try on session how are you guys feeling you guys feel they fit nice they look nice you guys feel like they work that 108 price point uh let me know down below so with all that being said now it's time to give you my verdict and personally i don't believe these are worth 108 dollars like i said in the beginning of the video i feel like these are like 60 to 70 dollars and to me that's even kind of pushing it and the only reason why i say that is because these shorts just give me like old school champion vibes now, with that being said, Champion has not made like a short this short. So that will be basically a healthy alternative to buying these, or you could just go to minimal and pay, I think it's like $36 and it's like their everyday mesh shorts and you get the same thing. Now, I don't know the quality of the minimal, but we all know Champion shorts are great quality. They always been great quality. You know, I mean, at a time Champion was even making NBA gear. So Champion, healthy alternative if they made something like that now with all that being said playing devil's advocate the part of me that wants to say these are worth 98 dollars are these are a designer pair of shorts so it's gonna come with a higher price point on top of that they are made in the u.s it's not in china and other countries it's made here in the u.s so manufacturing does cost more and on top of that now because i don't know yet if i'm able to wash these um i always hang dry my clothes but if i'm able to get multiple wears out of these without the short actually like breaking down and losing its shape and the ee starting to fade if it holds up that whole time then definitely to me personally these are worth that higher price point because of everything i just said but if not then once again $60, $70 should be the price of these shorts. And on top of that, last but not least, he's the only person doing this right now. Like every short that I see come out is a dope design. Nobody else is doing it. And if they were to do it, you're kind of biting because he got this in the bag, bro. If you think about like designer, just nice mesh shorts that are short, short, that gives you that look, that above the knee look, everybody thinks Eric Emanuel. So if you were to do something like him, you're biting off of him. So he has the market cornered. It's like a monopoly. So at that point, he can charge $100 for his shorts because he's the best one doing it and he's the only one doing it the right way. And once again, made in the US. So what are you gonna do? And once again, like I said, I just love the packaging that it comes in. It just gives me that old school, like athletics vibes. And uh, for $108, uh-huh, you are going back in this bag and you're not coming out until I wear you. Let's uh, zip this up, get this air out, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, so with all that being said, let me know in the future if you're gonna cop any EE shorts and uh, if you have any EE shorts. And if you do, let me know how many colors you got down below. 
So we're now coming towards the end of the video. If you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, don't forget to always give yourself a round of applause. I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for 7K because we finally hit 7K. Still road to 10K coming very, very soon. I'm trying to hit it by the end of summer. Uh, once again, just thank everybody. I'm feeling so blessed. Like, thank you everyone for the support. Um, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Uh, I already probably said that. And until the next video, it is your boy Ashton Royale, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.